All right, do a little short video on a little piece of technology that I, I think is pretty interesting uh, called a saltwater battery. Uh, I actually read about this in an article last year and then checked on the company called uh, Aquion Energy. And I just followed it and just cause I thought it was pretty interesting that a company was developing a battery that didn't use uh, heavy metals or, or toxic uh, ingredients. And the science is nothing new. I mean, the science for using a, a salt water solution to act as the, the electrolyte for a, a battery is nothing new, but really was, I guess, for whatever reasons, not really developed for one reason or the other. That's a whole nother topic of conversation of why that thing's happened. But anyway, back to the salt water battery. I think it's a really cool idea because it, other than the plastic that it's made with, because obviously our plastics these days are, are still have a, a lot of petroleum products in them. And let's say develop a plastic or use plastics that are made with the with the plant-based materials, but I don't know, it re I really look up on that. But the battery itself, the saltwater battery itself doesn't have some of the major drawbacks that uh, lead acid chemical batteries have. Uh, like if a lead acid chemical battery shorts out or has some kind of problem like that, it is extremely flammable. Lead acid batteries and you know, all the gases are flammable. The the chemical solution is flammable. I mean, it, it can spark and start a fire. And you know, we hear about this all the time in the news, all kinds of those batteries. I mean, look at Samsung lately. But the saltwater battery is not flammable. Um, if it shorts out, it just stops working. It's not gonna spark the... Uh, well, it probably would spark a little bit, but one of my point about that is, is the salt water is not going to catch on fire. You know, you're not going to have this crazy chemical reaction, or it's not going to go on a thermal runaway, as a term that they like to use. So I thought that was pretty cool, also. And they they claim that it's a simple, no operating cost, that it's compatible with with current, you know, um, energy controlling electronics. I imagine those are like. You know, by putting multiple of these together, controlling the current and the voltage, make sure you get what you want, that that stuff. Because it's just a battery at the end of the day, you know. So they have those, all that stuff's on their website. And I'll, I'll put a link to their website in the description. And I'll drop a, you know, a link to a few pictures I thought were cool. And um, they also claim that they're the first battery to be cradle to cradle certified. Now, I'm really not going to explain Cradle to Cradle Certified in depth. I'll put a link in the description to that too so you can read up on it on your own if you feel like it. But basically, it is a certification that says that your product is made in a way that is, that is most friendly to the environment. You know, it is, it is renewable. It is something that, can, that is sustainable. It's, it's not you're not creating these th these products made out of toxic stuff or or things that are going to sit in a landfill for a thousand years and that's pretty cool too there's some other products in there but they they claim that there were the first battery that was certified cradle to cradle but like i said i'll put a link in the description for that also so you can read on that a little bit more yourself and also on their website you can download the a tech uh, document in a pdf that you can read really in depth about their technology now I read it and I understand the technology but it's outside of my scope to kind of explain the science behind what they're trying to do and whatnot so I'm not really gonna get into that but it was pretty interesting and it seems like it's it's you know it's pretty straightforward and, and that this could you know take off um, also the founder uh, Jay Whitaker he did a TED, TEDx talk at Carnegie Mellon University discussing their technology and I'll put a link in the description to that also because I watched it and uh, it was pretty interesting to me but I you know I'm interested in that kind of stuff you know it's really fascinating to me the kind of technology we develop be it new or bringing something back from long ago that was for whatever reason shelved or not developed or whatever the reason was and there's all kind of stories of why in particular you know, energy type technologies have been either suppressed, hidden, or just bought by bigger companies and put on the shelf because they don't want to compete with them. But that's a whole nother topic of discussion for another time. But Aquion, Aquion Energy and their salt water battery, I find it pretty fascinating. I think it's pretty neat. 
um, I see that this could be something that people wouldn't, you know, have a problem having in their garage or in a, maybe a little shed built for an out back because uh, it's not toxic. It's not as dangerous as a regular battery. Now there's costs involved. It's not, you know, it's not really super cheap right now, but you know, you need the economy of scale to kick in for, for that to really take in into effect. I mean, look at the solar panels. Remember when they were used to be outrageously priced and now almost anybody can afford a solar install in their houses these days economy of scale but anyway that's a little short little video I wanted to talk about you know, of a technology that I find very fascinating I'm definitely gonna keep up with this and I'm gonna do more research on it I want to I'm gonna actually try to find out why this really wasn't developed more than it has been in the past because it technically it's not a new technology it's just somebody coming out and and developing and taking a new look at it so Aquion Energy and their saltwater battery. Links in the descriptions for all the information I discussed here. If you enjoy these videos or any other videos, hey, hit those like buttons and subscribe to my channel. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Now I'm gonna go have lunch at one of my favorite restaurants, Bud Seafood Bar and Grill, and chop it up with the employees there because they're really cool people. Anyway, Aquion Andrew, saltwater battery. Check it out.